Hello students, today we are going to make a device that will help you randomly do your addition facts. It's called Wheel of Math. For this activity, you're going to need one paper plate, something to write with, a ruler, you have a paper one in your box, an assortment of counters, some scissors, but you can also tear, so don't worry if you don't have scissors, some index cards, a small roll of tape, and two clothespins. The first thing you're going to do is take your paper plate and you're going to draw some lines. First, the first line you draw is going to be straight down the center of your paper plate. Now look at the two halves of your paper plate. You're going to need five more sections on each half. Don't worry if they're all the same. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once you get the lines drawn, you're going to label it with the numbers 0 through 9, like we've done here. Your next step will be to take your two clothespins and one index card. You're going to fold your index card in half and then cut or tear it. It should look like this. Then you're going to tape it to one side of each one of the clothespins. Once you get that done, on one clothespin, you're going to color it in solid, like the blue one. And on the other side of the blue one, you're going to put a plus sign. On the other clothespin, you're going to color in solid. You can do the same color, or I find it helpful to do a different color. We did red here. And then we're going to put a minus sign on that one. When you pick your first number, you're always going to put either the plus or minus sign with the first number. When you pick your second number, you're always going to pick a solid. So we're going to start out with addition and use the plus sign. So we're going to pick a number on the wheel of math. We've picked number two, and you can see that the plus sign is showing. So that means we're going to say two plus. Now on the second number, we're not going to show the minus sign. We're going to show the solid because we're doing addition. And we have picked the number four. Two plus four. Now we're going to add those up. Some of you may not know what two plus four equals, if you don't, practice with your word wallet. Or you can also use these small manipulatives. We have two pom-poms and then we have four pom-poms. So now we're going to count all the pom-poms together. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So two plus four equals six. Great job. If you would like to subtract, you can do that also. Just make sure that your first number is bigger or larger than the second. So get your minus sign ready and pick a large number. We have chosen seven. Seven minus, now pick your second number and make sure the solid sign is up so you don't get confused with your order of, with your operation. We have chosen two. Seven minus two. If you've been using your word wallet, you might know that seven minus two equals five. But if you still need some practice, you can use your manipulatives again. Count out seven pom-poms like we've done here, and then take two away. And then count the remaining pom-poms. One, two, three, four, and five. Seven minus two equals five. Great job. Now you can use the same principle if you want to for multiplication. We hope this helps and have a good time and learn your math facts. It's so fun.